Good morning everyone. We're here at the apiary. Uh, it's about nine o'clock in the morning. It's uh, October the 9th and uh, there's no bees coming in and going. There are a few bees inside the entrance here. Uh, I can hear a hum inside the hive. I'm going to see if I can get close enough for you to pick it up. But uh, temperatures around 67, 68 degrees. So it's still a little cool for them to be very active. Uh, the plan today is just to fill the feeders. Um, I've got some stuff to do this afternoon and this evening, so I won't be able to spend much time here when the temperature warms up. It's supposed to get up in the 80s again today. Um, but uh, we'll go ahead and fill the feeders on both of the hives and uh, I may see what's going on inside just to take a quick peek I won't probably pull any frames so there are a few bees here in the empty side of the hive they're moving pretty slow today so it's probably because of the cool temperatures so I'm gonna open this up a little bit and check the feeder fill it and uh, I'll be right back well there's only one bee in the feeder so <clears throat> I'll put some sugar syrup in here in a minute uh, I'm gonna look inside and uh, there are a few more bees here on the follower board um, they just kind of mulling around I've killed a few hive beetles there was a spider uh, there's a bee killing a hive beetle so that's a good sign Well, the, bee, <clears throat> the bees in this part of the hive are more active, as you can see. Um, this is a frame foundation. They've drawn some of it out. Uh, I still don't see any nectar or anything stored in it, so they're not using it. I'm going to try to get a picture of inside the hive here. There's a look up inside the hive. There appears to be a lot of bees in here yet, so. Um, my last video on this hive, I was kind of disappointed because I didn't see any um, brood, open brood or the queen, but uh, I had several people say that it it still looked like it was in good shape, so I'm planning on coming back when it's warmer and do another inspection, but not today. So well, I'm going to close this back up, and I'm going to fill the feeder, and we're going up to the Langstroth hive. Well, I filled the feeder, and the sound of the hive has really picked up. I guess the smell of the sugar syrup is... Uh, getting them excited there were a few bees right away get into the feeder so um, I'm gonna close this up the rest of the way and I'm gonna head up to the Langstroth But we're here at the Langstroth Hive. Uh, there are a few bees coming and going. There went one in. Uh, there's a few here at the entrance. Um, I'm gonna open this up and check the feeder. Of course, it'll be empty. There's more bees coming. I'm blocking their traffic. Now let me get out of the way. Um, I'm gonna fill the feeder. Uh, might pull the top box off and take a look down into the bottom box won't pull any frames though and uh, we'll be right back well there appear to be a lot of bees up here in this top box so um, I'm gonna open it up I've not got my uh, bait. well my phone started to shut off I, I, I as I started to say I've not got my veil on today um, uh, not getting down into the hive so I don't plan on putting it on um, so 
Uh, let me get this opened up and I'll see what's in there. Well, there's a lot more bees up here than I would have thought with the cool temperatures. So it must be up here where it's warmer. Um, uh, take a look down into the feeder. There's quite a few bees in that part. And it looks like there's a lot of bees there too. So I'm gonna finish opening this up and I'll be right back. Well, I pulled the frame that has the drawn comb on it. Um, all it had on it was a bunch of hive beetles, which I killed. Um, as I said in the past, I'll probably be pulling this box off of here before long. Um, only reason I have it on here right now is because uh, looking for a place to have my feeder without taking up frame space down below. So um, we'll take a quick look down below and then I'm going to feed them and we're going to get them closed up. Now well, there's a lot of bees down here. Um, I'm not going to pull any frames. I'm just taking a quick look down in between the frames here. Uh, it's hard to even see down in there. There's so many bees. So uh, it looks like they're doing well. Uh, I'm going to put the top box back on and uh, we'll... Uh, Give them some sugar syrup and we'll wrap it up. So when I filled the feeder, there were some bees that fell down into the sugar syrup. So I pulled these uh, tops off and emptied them out of the cone in front of the hive and uh, so they can find their way back in the hive. They weren't having trouble trying to get up out of that sugar syrup being so cold today. Um, so we've got everything filled up here. Uh, we're gonna call it a day uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish closing up the hive, and uh, I appreciate everybody watching uh, my videos. I hope you enjoy the videos. Um, if you like my videos, if you would give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button, um, and also if you would share your the videos with your friends and family that uh, might enjoy them. So until the next time he out here at Apiary, uh, I hope you have a good day and a, a pleasant weekend. Here's one of the bees that uh, I dumped out of the feeder in front of the hive earlier. Uh, you can see the other bees grooming the sugar syrup off of her. Um, I'm going to let it run here for a little bit and s so you can see what it looks like. That was a high beetle that I just smashed. Well, this is what the goldenrod is looking like this time of year. Uh, it's about done. Uh, there's still a few uh, yellow blooms on it, but uh, it's starting to turn brown, and I doubt that it's uh, producing much, much ne nectar yet. Uh, it might be producing a little pollen, but that's what it looks like. 